Hello, my name is Danae Avahart. My ID is E3165035, and we are in the fall 2017 semester. Here we'll show you how to cut a dog's nails. You'll need quick stop in case you hit the quick, which is the nerve endings of the nail. I'll show you how to put it on at the end of the video. She thinks it's a treat. She will be getting one after for trimming the nails. And nail clippers. So, I'm going to grab the paw, and I have Lola pressed up against my body. When the nail starts to hook, that's where you'll want to cut. The pink part that you see here is the quick. And on darker nails, you'll have to go more slowly to ensure that you don't cut the, the finger. I'm going to readjust Lola here. Just go ahead and sit. Good girl, good girl. That way when I pick up her front paw, she won't feel unbalanced. Good girl, Lola. Okay, so here's the quick, and here's where the nail just barely starts to hook. I'm just going to cut a little at a time, like so. Now this one. If you should hit the quick, you can simply pour some of the quick stop into the cap and dip the nail directly in like so, or you can take a pinch and press it directly onto the nail. Also, if you don't have quick stop, you can use cornstarch. Here I'll be showing you how to trim a cat's nails. You'll need quick stop in case you hit the quick, which is the nerve ending of the nail, kind of like a finger, and nail clippers. I have tinier ones for the cat's claws. This is Allie, and I have her wrapped up in a blanket so that she can't escape. Uh, she's not hurt, but I have her kind of like in a baby swaddle. And I did this previously, so you'll want to have everything prepared before you go to cut the cat's nails. I'm going to just push gently on her paw, and here you'll see where the nail hooks, and inside is the quick, this white part here. Good job, Allie. So we will begin, and I'm going to cut a little at a time. It's okay. Ch -ch -ch. Oh, good girl. I know. I'm showing you how to collect urine from a female dog. You can use a pie dish tray, an old Tupperware container lid, or a ladle. And then bring it to your vet in a timely manner. That way the pee is still reputable for testing. I chose the old Tupperware container lid, and I will slide between the and the when she goes to pee and squats down. I'm going to try to catch it midstream best testing results and I have her close to me on the leash in order to be ready when she pees. So let's see if she'll go for us. urine from a male dog for when you need to give it to your vet for a urine analysis to see if there are any issues. You can use a pie tray. Um, earlier we used a Tupperware container um, that we're not using anymore for a female dog. I'm going with a ladle. That way I don't have to get so close to Buddy when he raises his legs to pee. So we'll take him for a walk and encourage him and um, once he raises his leg I'll stick it under and you'll see how I do that. Come on Buddy. Looking for the prime spot. Good boy. Go pee pee. I'm keeping him close to me on the leash. That way I'll be ready whenever he decides it's time to pee. Looks like a nice tree. And he actually just stood without raising his leg, which is nice. I caught it midstream. Um, and now you'll transfer this to a clean dish in a, and get it to your vet in a somewhat timely fashion so that it's still reputable for testing. Thank you and good luck. Here I'll show you how to pill a cat. You're going to grab them, grab their head, use your middle finger to open their throat, stick the pill as far back as possible, shut their mouth, 
and pet their throat so that they swallow. And now you've won. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to get your dog to eat a pill that he's been prescribed. Um, you can do it by putting the pill in some cheese. They have pocket pill hiders out there. It's like a treat with a hole in it and you stick the pill inside and give it to your dog. Today I'm going to be showing you the marshmallow method. So down here, um, Lola, the dog we will be giving it to, doesn't take any pills at the moment. So I have a, a treat simulator, which is the pill, and a marshmallow. You're going to cut the marshmallow in half and put, set one side to side, put the pill on the sticky side of the marshmallow and kind of just um, wrap it around. And now you have a marshmallow that most dogs are happy to eat and then they will be taking the pill as well. The marshmallow with the pill inside. All right, Lola thinks she's getting a treat so she's patiently awaiting. I'm going to give that to her and she will eat it. Okay, and great. So that's how you get your dog to take a pill. Thank you. Today I'm going to show you how to apply, the, apply a gauze muzzle to your dog in cases where you need control of the muzzle or um, if you need to apply eye ointment and you're afraid the dog might you know, jerk around or try to maybe snap if it's afraid. Um, so you can use a one inch or two inch gauze. And here I'm using a two inch. I have a pre-cut length here. It's pretty long because we'll be wrapping it twice. So you're gonna go from behind the dog so as not to startle it. You do want it in like a sitting or a laying position. Start with a loop and then you can just slide it over the dog and um, we'll be tightening it as so. I ha kind of have it crisscross here that way. She's laying down. But Luckily, good job, Lola. And then I'm just going to go like so. So now she has it over her. Great job. And I'm going to wrap it one more time and bring it around her head. And you'll want to tie it in a quick release bow in most cases um, in order to just quickly, you know, get it off the dog if you need. Okay. And that is how I would have you apply a muzzle to your dog, and now you have control to do what you need.